What's up, guys? Welcome back to Real Bucks Talk. We're going to look at another rookie prospect today. This is going to be Jalen McMillan, number 15, the guy that's been balling out at training camp, rightfully so. He only had two catches, but there were two big catches. And we're going to show a little bit of why he's being such a big product in training camp and why he's getting so, such good notoriety, okay? So this is the one big catch of his game, play-action fake. I love the, the actual play call as well. Let's let it break down. Huge gainer there. Why? Trey Palmer clearing everything out, the speed guys. The safety has to account for him going deep. So what do you have? Jalen McMillan just beat your man one-on-one, get in the middle of the field, and Kyle Trash makes a good throw. Hands catch, look at that. You always like to see the hands uh, being involved, not just letting it hit your chest plate. But also the route tree here, giving him a little shimmy at the top of his route. Am I going to move outside or inside? I don't know why it went so quick. Get a little him shimmy fake. Present yourself, hands catch, get downfield. Uh, we're going to show it from the opposite angles again. McMillan, number 15, first down. Get excited. Play action fake right down the center. Look at that little bit of separation. That is massive in the NFL. And there it is again. Hands catch, coming down with it, getting a huge first down. Um, yeah, he, he doesn't have extreme breakaway speed, but it's like I think some of the, uh, the other guys on the team say it's like it's, it's almost shifty, but it comes up on you fast, right? So here's a first down gainer for him just – Finding a hole in his own. You need a first down, third down guy. Where are the linebackers? He's reading, okay, this guy's not flying to over here to his own. He's just dropping back. He's noti notifying that. Look at his eyes on him. He's like, if he's not going to come chase me and this guy's going outside, I'm just going to sit here in this little baby zone and present myself as a target. Trask reads that immediately. These guys have to account for somebody, right? You're going to get the running back or you're going to get the receiver. He went after the running back. Trask reads it well. Gets this thing out really fast. Boom. Get it to the guy. Yeah, and the other defender was just way too far back. A lot of smarts is what this guy has. It's not like it's you have to run a 4 3 40. You got to be 6 4, 225. Just know how to play the game of football. And this is a guy that was above a lot of those guys at Washington, but he got hurt. So he had to take a step back and let other guys kind of thrive, but he still played. And he still almost had a thousand yards, and he almost had a thousand yards the year prior at Washington. Biggest play for me, though. Hands catch. Look how strong these hands are. This guy is going to try and punch this thing out. Boom. Push. Don't matter. Comes down with the ball. Secures it. Pulls it to his chest. That's huge, guys. I mean, normal rookies, they get excited just to get the damn ball and forget about catching it. So the guy gets it. Hand catch. This guy's trying to punch that bad boy out. Secures it. Pulls it to the chest. I'm not going to let you take this. This is a preseason. I don't give a crap. I'm a competitor. First down, Tampa Bay. This one. Amazing. It shows everything of why he is he's being so successful in training camp. It's an understanding the game of football. Check him out here. He's going to be in the middle of your, your, your screen, playing the slot. One-on-one -on -one here, deep safety. Watch him manipulate this safety here. I know you already have to deal with the guy that's in front of you. Watch him here. He gets the inside leverage on the cornerback. Then he already knows, okay, so if I have that inside leverage, the only guy I got to beat is this guy. So watch as he's stemming this route. It's not just strictly a go across, slant across the field, right? We're not just doing that. He's going to work his way from here up on the seam. So this safety is going to think, oh, hell, shit, he's going to go deep towards the, the end zone. Let me go trace after that. Watch what he does as he does this. So it's not going to, like I was saying, not just straight across the field. He goes up towards that safety. Safety thought, okay, wait, it's just going to be a traditional uh, going across our go route across the field, right? Then he turns his whole damn body because of that subtle little move he did there. Turns it and completely around and look when McMillan turns. Puts a foot to the ground the second he turns away from him. That is manipulating a safety. Usually you hear it from quarterbacks or good receivers do it as well. That is prototypical of what it is. That's a blueprint of how you route run to help yourself out, not just to run a route to get to a spot. That is getting to helping the quarterback out by juking out the safety looking at you. And look at all this space he would have had to throw this ball. But Trask chooses to throw to uh, Culp over here. He had an opening as well. He has space. He just didn't throw it into that space and ends up almost getting picked off. But that was a beautiful play for me. I mean, this is an opposite angle. Look as he's going up the field. Safety sees him. Safety sees Trask. Oh, crap. It's probably going to go over there, right? But the second he pushes upfield, the safety sees that. Watch as he turns. Holy crap, he's going way upfield. I got to turn my, my butt or he's going to beat me. Where is he? Question mark, because he don't know where he's at. He's wide the hell open over here. 
Crash just wrote, chose the wrong guy. But guys, a lot to work with. I was upset they didn't play more, but rightfully so. I mean, it, you, in the practices, you're showing you're that dominant and you're that aware of the game itself. There's no point in getting more repeti repetition in preseason. The practices are harder than usually preseason. So, guys, let us know down below. What did you think of Jalen McMillan's performance? I know it was short-lived, but you never know. There could be so much more in the season, and that's what we're excited about. Uh, let us know down below. Like the channel if you like this type of content. And with that said, until the next one.